Hello, Harrison from Dazlight here, and today I'll be showing you around the all new Dazlight 5. When you first launch Dazlight 5, you'll be greeted by the setup screen. From this screen, you can patch your fixtures, instantly create strips and matrices, set movement limits, and group your fixtures. Let's stay in setup and begin by looking at the library window. This is where you select the fixtures that you want to import. You can search our library of 20,000 profiles for specific brands and models by searching here. If you can't find a profile here, you can request it on our website, the link is in the description. Once we've selected the desired fixtures, we need to patch them. Here we can choose which universe to patch it to, the starting DMX address, the quantity of the fixture we wish to patch, and the index. We're going to create four moving heads and four RGB lights. We can then press patch to automatically patch them to our universe. If we don't select starting address, the fixtures will be patched to the next available channel. Dazlight 5 can quickly create matrixes and LED strips for you by selecting the respective tabs. The matrix option allows you to customize the height, width, and flow of your matrixes using these options. The strip option allows you to quickly create LED strips. Simply enter the amount of dots, hit patch, and you're ready to go. The patch window is where all of your patched fixtures appear. There are two ways to view the patch window. The default option is the grid you see before you. If you prefer a list view, that can be selected here. In grid view, addresses can be changed by simply dragging and dropping the desired fixture on the new address. This bottom section is called the control panel. From this panel, you can arrange your fixtures in a 2D view as they are in real life using various tools. To turn your lights on, you should click the turn beam on button here. Next to it, you'll also find turn beam off. By clicking on the spreading menu or alignments menu, you can quickly manipulate your lights into predetermined shapes and alignments you see listed. To the right of these options is the zoom slider for 2D view. We're going to arrange our moving heads into a circle and our RGB lights into a line. Down the left hand side, you can see we have some different quick select options. Groups allow you to quickly select fixtures. When creating a new fixture, you'll be asked if you wish to create a new group. If you press no, the fixture will be added to the group you have selected. You can manually create new groups by clicking the plus button. When we created our fixtures, we also created groups for them, so we don't need to group them right now. To the right of this, you have the limits window. This is where you set dimmer and movement limits for your fixtures. At the top of this window, you have buttons to enable or disable the beams on your fixtures so you can quickly identify the light that you're controlling. The control panel window can be detached from the rest of Dazlight 5 by pressing this button. Let's move on to the control window. Control is where you create, activate, and edit scenes. When selecting scenes in the control window, select the left side of the scene if you want to play the scene, select the right side of the scene if you want to edit the scene. Banks are a great way to keep your scenes organized. We're going to create two banks, one for color effects and another for movement effects, where you can create as many banks as you need. You can change the color of a bank by right clicking on it. To the right of banks, you'll see the effects window. Dazlight 5's powerful effects engine makes creating spectacular effects easy. To assign an effect to a scene, we select the scene first and then we select the effect we want to apply. We're going to create a rainbow effect. Dazlight 5 doesn't generate steps when creating an effect. If you wish to create an effect step by step, you can do so by choosing the steps effect. Once the effect has been assigned to a scene, we can edit its parameters over here. Move effects function differently to color effects. When you select the move effect, the grid you see here will appear. The shape you see is representative of the motion your moving head will make. You can select one of the presets from the dropdown or create a custom motion by manipulating the shape. For now, we're going to create a simple circle movement. Brand new Dazlight 5 Super Scenes gives you the ability to layer multiple scenes and audio files to a timeline, allowing you to take your light show to the next level. Adding a scene to a Super Scene is very easy, just drag and drop into the timeline editor. 
to add an audio file to a super scene, you can drag and drop the audio file or right click on a timeline, insert audio file. You can lengthen or shorten your scene by simply dragging from left to right. If you want to disable a timeline, you can click on the eye symbol. You can also lock individual timelines using the padlock. Super Scenes allows you to automate dimmer and phasing for your fixtures with automation curves. When we moved to the control window, the right side of the control panel became the edit window. There are multiple ways to use the edit window. When the green edit button is selected, you're making edits to the scene that's currently selected. Any changes made in this mode will be saved to the scene. The eye in between edit and live activates blind mode. Blind allows you to make changes to your lights without sending those changes to output, allowing you to experiment and get a scene right where you want it before playing it for your audience. When you select the live button, you enter live mode. Unlike edit mode, changes you make in live mode won't be saved to your scene. When a parameter in this window has an edit on it, a yellow dot appears in the top left corner. These buttons allow you to save your live edits, either into the original scene or a new scene. There's a second tab option in the edit window. This brings up the mixer. This allows you to make quick edits to your groups in a classic mixer format. Here you have controls for dimmer, hue, saturation, flash, and blackout. The touch window is where you can create your own custom control interface. When you first view this window, it will be blank. By pressing the edit button in the top right corner, the blank space will become a grid. By dragging and dropping the items from the right hand side onto the grid, you can create controls. The easiest way to create a control is to press and hold Alt or Option and left click on the control you want to make a touch control for. This will automatically create a mapped control in the touch window. To assign a mapping to a key, select the keyboard icon. A red overlay will then appear over mappable controls. Select the control you wish to map, then press the key you want to assign it to. Another kind of mapping we can create is a MIDI control mapping. When we select MIDI mapping, a purple overlay will appear showing controls which can be mapped. Select the control you want to map and then interact with the MIDI control you want to map it to. The full potential of the touch window is unlocked when you link Dazlite 5 to the brand new Dazlite Remote app, available on the Apple and Google Play stores now. Thank you for joining me to check out the all new Dazlite 5. More tutorials will be coming in the future, so stay tuned.